What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. We're here to talk about AMC today. As you can see, I'm still holding my positions. They're still up on the screen. 900 shares. I have my $145 call options for December, mid-December. I don't know if that's going to play out that way because we are getting closer and closer to that. Um, but anything could happen. Anything could blow up at any moment at any time, right? So don't think it can't happen. It's just, you know, showing that as days go on, it's getting less and less likely that it would happen. Uh, but again, anything could happen any day at any time. It could be one hour and it blows the hell up. So just know that that is still possible. Um, but anyways, we're going to talk about AMC in this video, what did happen today, because uh, I was happy with the movement um, overall, and it's still making its move now. It could still come back, but um, this is better than I expected today. But make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you get your free stocks with Webull down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description, as well as all of my other channels across YouTube. But let's talk about AMC really quick. Um, so AMC in the morning didn't really have anything while I was streaming. Typically, I'm streaming around 8 to 9, and a lot of times I don't really see too much movement in the pre-market. Sometimes we'll see some massive movement, um, but for the last however many months, we haven't really been seeing that much movement, especially in the pre-market. Um, we did see an increase towards the end of the pre-market where I wasn't streaming. It was like 9, 9, uh, 15 to 9.30. Uh, we opened up at about... Uh, $36.37, which was lower than what the previous close was. You did see it increase right at the open and then start to fall right back down to where people started to get a little bit worried that it was going to um, come back down to about, what was it, 35? That it was going to go down to 35, maybe even 30, that we were going to see a negative day because the pre-market wasn't really that positive. But then we started to see some movement, um, some solid green candlesticks. I mean, some wide range candlesticks, huge candlesticks. Um, really not showing any form of resistance, a little bit of consolidation, but more push. Um, but then we started to see that resistance up in uh, this level at 37.58, where we started to fall back and find some, a little bit of consolidation, a slight bit of growth, creating a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, lower low. It kind of reversed that field and um, you know started to grow a little bit more, seeing that high of the day at $37.85. Now, this did end up decreasing from there. From that $37.85, $37 it started to decrease, which is not really believable. Um, we start to see this every single day because we know what they're doing. As we see the the amount that it increases as we see the the rapid pace that it does go up even with a low amount of volume they bring on the shorts right um, they're going to continue to bring on those shorts as they're borrowing these shares they're going to bring on more shorts in front of our faces not only partnering them up with the ones that um you know that are behind the scenes we're looking at the ones that are behind the scenes and understanding that they have a ton of shorts that we're not seeing um, but it did decrease, had some sort of a recovery, um, broke over the 200 EMA and the VWAP, but then didn't hold that, didn't even find a previous resistance point. It just fell, um, consolidated, and then fell just a little bit. And now we're seeing this fall down a little bit more. It could be something where we end on a negative note, but we've seen um, the last couple of days that we've been negative um, all the way up until like the last... Uh, maybe 15 minutes or so and we actually saw some sort of an increase to get us back to sort of a consolidation across the board and then uh, let's hope for something positive throughout the after hours market now all in all today it could have been worse um, I believed um, today this morning that this was going to decrease right from the start we were going to see this fall I have a v-shaped recovery but then create a lower high and a lower low and we would have seen this fall just like that but um, they let it they let it actually increase a little bit and let it get back to a level of probably break even. That's what they're looking for. We understand that we would like to see something a lot bigger. They know that we want to see something a lot bigger. So they're painting a different picture, right? So AMC, still something that I'm holding, still something that I'm ready to, um, you know, die with, right? Because I'm, I'm going to hold this position and uh, obviously take my profits all the way on the way up. But this is nowhere near where you need to actually make that move. So um Anyways, let's get to um, some Ortex data to understand that a little bit. So Ortex data is pretty flat. We haven't seen too much uh, movement here, about a negative 1% change. They returned about 1.5 million shares, uh, borrowed about, about a million shares, <clears throat> and then seeing about 83 million short, shorted shares, which is 16.24% of the short, short interest of free float, right? So we're looking at 
um, this number and does this mean anything to us? I would say not because this is what they want to paint. This is the picture that they want to paint. We understand that 16% is still high. If they're holding 16% or if they're shorted 16% and this does increase and we're holding 80 to 90% or however much we're holding, it could be a lot bigger. Um, and we all know that and we're just waiting it out. And if we can say that we have enough time, we'll be good, right? If we have enough time to wait, we will be fine. So uh, that's what I have for you guys today. I really don't want to push it any, any longer than that. I don't have any type of like crazy information um, because we didn't really have that much movement. We did have an, a little bit of an increase to where we were up like 2%, 3%, but it wasn't, it wasn't that amazing, right? We're waiting for those large jumps, large increases. I want to buy some more call options, but the call options are just so expensive for no reason at all, even though we haven't seen as much volatility. Uh, volatility is supposed to increase that the the price of options, but we haven't seen a lot of volatility. We just saw um, a slight bit of increase or decrease, and uh, like that just looks ridiculous. If we're standing still, the options should not be as expensive as they are. But uh, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see how that all plays out. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Um, we know that they're still shorting. We could see that they're still shorting 50% every single day as we look on Fintel and um, you know, Chart Exchange, all of those websites that give us the short interest. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think about AMC and where this is going to go. Um, if we're going to see over 100 by the end of the year, when do you think that's going to happen? Um, Definitely put some comments down below to let me know the specific date if you guys watch down to the end. Let me know the specific date um, of when you think this is going to make its move, uh, whether it's based on other information, outside information, or just a date that flies in your head. But guys, make sure you hit that like button again. I feel like I said that 7,000 times. Hit the subscribe button and uh, check out my other channels if you guys are interested. And if you want a shorter version of this, it'll be over on the MP Shorts channel. But I'm going to get out of here and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.